God, what's on my heart today? I want to talk about it. So welcome back to Heart Talks. Yes, it's been a while and I've been deliberately taking the rest that I needed just to reset, also to refocus and to be honest, I have a lot of other things focusing on, trying to work out in my head. So I've been really just being intentional about giving all of my time to exactly what it is that I want to accomplish, right? And today I think I want to talk about my heart today. And I think I made heart talks for a reason, and I know exactly what the reason I wanted to do something like this, but I didn't understand just the full picture at the time. So looking back, I just the uh, little thing session that I've been going on, like, why do you need something like hard talks? I could be doing anything if I wanted to be in on the social media space. And the reason why every time I see one of these videos, I smile. It's because it's a hard project and I needed a space where I could express what exactly I was feeling inside my heart and just being raw and open about those feelings and it you know that want or that need it brings me back to the reason as to why I would need something like that or I need, would need to create something like that or to even express it I think over the years I have kind of made a very, I guess, symbiotic relationship with my feelings, right? Um, and I say that because I am not the kind of person who likes to shove everything under the rug and pretend like they don't exist. Yes, you might not know what I'm going through, but on the other end of things, I am fully embracing and going through whatever emotions I'm going through and I think over the years it has been a strong point in how I process and handle my feelings and even you know with the place I am just how I express you know feelings from that feeling or from that emotion and it brings me back to the fact that for me to live a life that I want to live and show up in this world how I want to show up and what is most valuable to me and those around me, I need to have a healthy heart. It doesn't mean that I don't have emotions or I don't feel them. It just means that I know how to deal with them healthily and also to express them. And I find that your heart, while your brain is big and it's wonderful and it can do anything, I think your heart really shows who you are like even taking it back to god and everything i think that's the place god wants to live right you might think you're thinking through a problem but the feeling is coming from your heart first and it's through the state of your heart that's what that's what what will influence your thoughts and your thinking and your actions and i find that when i have a healthy all embracing all of in heart I find that I get along so much better with myself and those around me also I think the heart is kind of the soil you know when you know the proverbs about you know where God wants to plant his seeds I think your heart is the soil and that's why I value the heart right and I looked for a scripture and it came up as guarding your heart like the devotional to the scripture or that chapter was talking about guarding your heart and a lot of times we look at that and you think like you just have a big locked door um, in, um, before your heart like nobody can get in that's not what guarding your heart means to me guarding your heart means to me just coming to agreement with whatever emotions you're feeling as well as knowing how to healthily deal with those emotions 
and just with the guidance of God and everything that He wants for us, I have no fear that we'll be able to guard your heart without <laughs> throwing up a do not disturb sign. And in the chapter that I was talking about, the verse goes on to say that's uh, coming from Proverbs 4, verse 23. It says, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. And if the Bible is saying that it's a big deal, the like it's telling me that God wants us to guard our hearts in a way because that is literally the path to how you go through life, what you react to in life, how you, you, you receive things in life. It determines everything and for me if I'm living in a space where I don't feel happy or healthy or I just tend to ignore things I don't think I'm living the best way or exactly how God would want me to live so it's going to be a problem for me but taking it back to why I decided to do heart talks is exactly that I was at a space where I felt like I need to express everything that's in my heart with the hopes of it reaching to somebody or you know <sighs> allowing somebody to say huh I never really thought about it that way and if you know me personally you know that I'm a very opinionated person and I was always <laughs> with my opinions <laughs> like it's in your face it's like I said what I said and I think with getting to know God a bit, it's been kind of simmering in a way, simmering in a way. So even my approach is not like a, you need to do this, you're doing this wrong. It's like a, you know, kind of way. And that's like to see myself change like that in front of my very eyes. It's been beautiful. I'm not perfect. Sometimes my heart is a little bit controversial right but that's the very reason as to why i would want to share what's in my heart you know i'm the type of person if it's happening around me if it's affecting me then i'm feeling it i'm thinking about it and just expressing it has been helpful because you talk about it and you let it talk and you tell all of your feelings that, that, that you feel about it and then you put it down and Sometimes through conversations like these, you know, talking about things like this, you have other people who has a different point of view or a different side of the coin that you have never thought about. And just having these kind of conversations, it opens the way to hearing other people's experiences and other person input. And it's been a beautiful journey so far and it's something I want to continue and this is just my hello back. <laughs>